welcome to Take Talk. So Take Talk is a series of sharing sessions where small but mighty business owners share about their motivation on how they started the business and how they continue to continue pulling through in maintaining the business. So my name is Cindy and I'll be your host today. So this sharing session is brought to you by RISE, a program that equips young people with entrepreneurial skills and knowledge to start their, small, to start their own small business. And RISE is supported by City Foundation. So we believe that entrepreneurship is not only for the big company with high technology, but also for small and mighty businesses like Joyly. So during hard times like the MCO and after MCO, we want to showcase how these local businesses actually persevere and chase their dreams in entrepreneurship. So today, I'm happy to introduce and welcome our guest, Olivia from Joyly. Welcome. Hi, everyone. This is Olivia. So I'm from Joyly. So yeah, yeah. I'm also so, an entrepreneur. So hi, welcome to Talkie Talks, and we are very honored to have you here today. So before we get into the sharing mm -hmm. session, I'll just recap the agenda for everybody. Okay, so today, Talkie Talk session, our agenda. Yeah. So first, we'll do a, we already done a small welcoming. So next, we're going to go into our sharing session. And after the sharing session, we'll have the short Q&A where we'll be answering all of the, the audience questions. So all of you who have submitted your, your, your question earlier and who have given a question in the chat, we'll answer it then. And we'll end off this whole Talkie Talk session by thanking Olivia and also to, to share about our new program called Rise Online 2020. So without further ado, let's get into the sharing. So Olivia, can you briefly talk to us about your business and like how you started the business, where did the name Joyly come about, your product and services on your location and how we can access to your services okay. and products? <laughs> okay. So currently I'm doing on e-commerce, mainly on baby and mother care products. So, but I have to tell everyone that I'm not a mother. I'm not pregnant yet as well. The main reason I'm going into this business is because of my niece. Because my niece was having a heavy stuffy nose. And also, I'm, I was having the same issues when I was young. Then after mm. slowly, I began on the journey of entrepreneurship. Because of, I saw the pinpoint in mothers that they are, hardly they find a product that is more to, how to say, um, there's a good product and also um, if there's a good product in the market, right? Normally, our mother care products is like very expensive for those mm. branded and also for those like normals, normals price, those that you can get in the pharmacies, everything that is like more to, um, it's not that innovative enough. Mm. So that's why I started on this journey as an entrepreneur and also when I talk about how I came with this name Joyly is actually a very meaningful name that mm. on Joy that is a combination of Joy and Lee. For Joy that we want to bring the joyful happiness to every family. So our tagline mm. is like grow, grow up with joy. So we hope that we can help every family, especially for the young parents to help them to grow mm. their kids and also uh, the families in a joyful environment. And mm. the name Lee actually comes from my mom. My mom, uh, her first name is Lee, so that it actually represents an unbreakable bond between families and also on the unconditional love between like mother and daughter and also the families. So we combine the name Joy Lee that mm. makes Joy Lee today. Wow, <laughs> that's so meaningful, so touching. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So is your business just focused around, um, the, so the main product is the to help baby with their block nose, is it? Uh, yeah, that, this was the first product. So now we slowly that we develop into like diaper bags. And during the recent pandemic period, so that we have some products for the pandemics for baby, like for families to take good care of the hygiene and also keep hygienic. Uh. So we have the like UV sterilizer, the rod and also mm. the UV sterilizer box and also some masks. Mm. And some sanitized product like that, uh, disinfectant spray, hand sanitizer. Mm. Yeah, we keep developing mm, like new products. Mm. So, Joyly developed their own products, is it? Yeah. Mm. We uh, For how we develop our product is mainly like we will do a survey with our audience, our, our, uh, our potential customers, and find out what they want 
for the products. For, it, for example, that previously we launched for the diaper bag, right? We do a survey mm. for 1,000 parents. Then we find out that what they want actually, like maybe they want a more pockets and maybe they want a bigger capacity and also some, some special functions so that we develop and then we design and prototype and then do one product that match with their needs. Mm. Just like you mentioned that Joyly provides baby masks for because mm. of the pandemic moment, right? How do like how mm. is it for like the sizing is baby friendly or oh, like, uh, how? We, we only do for the adult mask but not the baby mask because our baby we still uh, okay, okay. baby to go up during the pandemic. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, that makes sense. All right. So, um, how do we find out more journey? Like, is the main platform? Is it Facebook? Is it your website? Is it Instagram? Yeah, how do they order? Yeah, you can find out on like from our website and also www.jv.com and also Facebook, Instagram. We do have our own like YouTube as well, and we are planning mm-hmm. to launch on more like going into more like YouTube channels. Mm-hmm. interviewing on more parents and also have more tips on education educating our parents to like how to take good care of their kids mm-hmm. this is our so next only, okay so you can only order your products through your website is it or is it available yeah. at other platform only on the website all right uh, so on if, our website and also on marketplace and we recently we just like uh, today we just uh, launched our uh, have our product listed in faith as well Mm, so Faith Marketplace as in like Lazada, Shopee, Lazada, isn't it? Shopee, Motherhood mm, and also Weapons. Okay. Weapons is the new marketplace. Mm, yeah. Okay. So if you guys are interested to buying any product or services that Journey offer, you can go and check them out through their website or through the marketplace like Lazada, Shopee, Motherhood. So if you guys are new parents that wants to buy the product or want to give your, the product to people that you know that have children, so you can go out and check out Journey. So moving on, uh, let's talk about Olivia. What inspired you? Because you said talk about how your niece is the one who inspired you, and her and her difficulty in building inspired you. But mm-hmm. have, do you have a background in business, or do you have a background in entrepreneurship? Yeah, actually, um, I started doing on e-commerce like five years back. Because previously I mentioned that uh, I was doing on the e-commerce on the active wear. So mm. I think mainly on those like uh, exercise wear, trials, mm. and also those that help functional wear that help on slimming. Mm. Like those like pants that help in fat burning and also mm. the posture mm. for physios. Okay, more on the functional products. And then yeah. slowly that uh, I realized that there's a need in the uh, baby and mother market. Mm. Because like many many of the market that they just like bring the brands from uh, not bring the brands maybe they just bring the product from overseas and then they just mm-hmm. sell it but they don't really innovate on the products mm. that's why I see the needs in like doing some innovation that it fits with the mother's need and the parents mm-hmm. need that's mm. why so like motherhood in Malaysia right mm. yeah. So did you study like and like business or was this more of like did, as a young kid did you uh, when you were younger did you like have any interest in starting your own business or you just stumble upon like for example you said you started in your active where did you started that business out of chance or was it like you planned like I want to be an entrepreneur when I grow up or something along those lines. I see. For the active where I actually started with my partners. That like he yeah. encouraged me to start on the own business after that we have started it. And I feel that there's a passion of me in like building the business. Because mm. I like to do something that like keep going and make an impact mm. to the society. And also like for actually I enjoy working very much. Oh, okay. I like to work <laughs> and also right. I like to build things like day by day and see the improvement and growing of myself. Because like coming back, like seeing back like one years back, I feel that I feel very fulfilled that I've changed a lot and also like grow mm. grow up a lot. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So how what what would you say is like in terms of building Joyly and as a mm-hmm. building the brand Joyly? Was it did you face any challenges when you first started, and how did you overcome those challenges? 
yeah, of course there is challenges. So for the first, like when I started Joy Lead, so the first will be like how to identify a good products. Because there's many mm. products in the market, how do you identify that this is the products that will sell, that will make mm -hmm. uh that will solve the problems and also that will make a profit. Because when if we don't talk about the profit, if like it's too like surface, but you still need a, to, a profit to continue on your business. Mm -hmm. So that's why everything that comes with a profit first and also solve the customer problems. Then mm -hmm. after that, to identify a good product, then we how we solve it, like we will do a survey with customer. So firstly, we'll take mm -hmm. a few samples and then let our customers try. After mm -hmm. trying it, then we will slowly develop, like innovate, like better ways to if they have any issues or like feedback, we will keep in a way on it. Mm -hmm. Then after you will come to a stage that you will have uh, issues of marketing these products. If, mm -hmm. Even if you have a good product, but if you do market it well, it will sell well. Mm -hmm. So the second stage is on the marketing side and the last stage will be on the finance. So how we solve on the finance side it will be, because we don't have much money to to order the stock for like maybe 1,000, 10,000 pieces, right? So what we do mm -hmm. is like, we accumulate a bunch of customers, uh, mothers, parents that have this uh, stuffy nose issue. So we tell them that, so we are here to help you to solve your baby's problem. So would you like trust us that uh, you can pre-order from us first so we get the money from the, from the parents first as our mm -hmm. cash flow. Then after that, we deliver to them after that, after one month. Mm -hmm. As oh. we solve the financial issue as well. Mm. So did you have to like, in terms of like financial issues, like did, was it hard in the beginning? Because you have to, of course you have to innovate, right? In, and innovation mm -hmm. takes time and takes money. So how did you guys like navigate through like getting enough funds or enough um, sponsorship in order to start the innovation process in the first place? Okay, how we do on the innovation is that we will do the way with customers. So for instance, we'll launch like 1,000 survey through Google Forms that you mm -hmm. don't need any money, but you just have to have some incentive for the consumers. So we'll do the 1,000 survey with customers and then from there, we find out that what they need on what they want. Then we'll have the mm. designer to start design and, and from the supplier side to do the prototyping. Mm -hmm. Prototyping as in the samples and then we ask the customer to try it out. After try out, then after that, any improvement, we keep on like improve and prototyping. Maybe this period take about two to three months. Mm -hmm. And then only we launch the product. Because I think it's good to do the survey with, with our customer or potential customer because like mm -hmm. it gains them the awareness of we are doing this product for them and then mm -hmm. gain their trust also. So whenever, whenever we launch the product, right, they will know that, oh, it's actually... Um, they really spend a lot in like developing their product so that mm -hmm. yeah, so that they will have the tendency of like buying also. Mm. So like so the, in that sense, you already had investors before you started the business. Um, no, uh, it's own money, but you don't need to invest a lot. It's just that mm -hmm. like one to two days is mainly on the product mm -hmm. You don't need a very good design, but you need to be very. You need to know the pain point of the market very well. Mm, interesting. Like personally, Olivia, did you have any challenges like being an entrepreneur? Like, did you feel like there were times where if you can look back in time and see yourself when you first started your business, is there some things that you would tell your younger self or like some skills that you think that is important that you should have before starting a business? What I should have for starting a business. I think that the passion in like starting a business is very important and also the determination. Just like whenever people start a business, right? There were things that they might be just like giving up in the middle before they really like go into the business. Because like uh for what I did is because like um I feel this very much because like from time to time, there's the staff turnover because on the high expectation and also standards of me, right? So maybe people like cannot accept on it. So people will tend to, because on uh, an entrepreneur and those that who just want to, um, how to say, um, who want, just want to work is uh, a big difference. Huh? 
because mm. many people is still in their comfort zone that they don't tend to like grow up every day. Mm-mm-mm. I just want to be comfortable of my my days and then like go home nine to six, but we don't have a nine to six. Yeah. Mm. It will be on the the main pro, main like challenge will be like because like whenever the company is start developing, right? You need people, mm. the team to support who have the ability and skill to support on the companies. Mm. If they don't, like, they keep on stagnant and not growing, then it will be, slowly it will be eliminated. Mm. Now, okay. Thank you so much for that. Like, wow, a lot of things to put into when you want to start a business, a lot of things to consider, right? So what, because of the MCO and now because of post-MCO and... Um, because we have changed, our, our day-to-day life has changed a lot. How has Joy Lee, like managed to pull through and to gain more audience because of all the, the, the movement restrictions? Did you guys face any challenges during the MCO okay. and now? Okay, um, because for this MCO, actually our sales grew like about four to five times compared to previous. Mm. Yeah, actually going wow. during this like pandemic period. So because of like the sensitivity in the market and also is important. I still believe that the treasure lies in between the in and out. So when you first in, like when you first into the market, because previously there's a lack in demands of the many demands, but lack on the products of like mask, sanitizer, everything. So we were the first that into the market. That's why we earned the first hand. And also mm. Yeah, so it's very important to have the ability to foresee on the market and have the sensitivity on the market. Mm. So during this pandemic, we actually grow, growing. Yeah. Mm, but did you find it like, was there any challenges? Because you said it grew four to five times. Was it? Hmm. So was there any challenges in terms of like how you coordinate oh. your logistics and like, okay. you know, like because a lot of orders, be, right? Yeah. Yeah. The challenges will be during the delivery of the products, and also we have about like one more than one thousand parcels during that period. So mm. that and also we have limited workers during in the office. So it just like me and another like team member. So it's just mm-hmm. both of us like doing on the packaging everything. That's why, and also there's a we have we were having the issues of like having the products to send the customer. Mm. So we we get the products of the hand sanitizer every day because during that period, during the MCO, the first stage that all the factory was closed down. So yeah, right. we don't have the supply, but we already got our sales. So mm-hmm. that um I ordered for the products from overseas. So and also we need to do the packaging, installation, and everything like ourselves. Mm-hmm. So it's like quite manually, but still beside on that one on the delivery issues and also after that we were having issues on like career also because on the career suddenly mm. their sales and their parcels spike up they cannot cope with this as, as well so oh, that right. we complaints missing parcels everything that was a quite stress period uh. yeah <laughs> but yeah we, 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 we've been through that right so you Did just you have face? to solve the problem one by one Mm, so one one problem at a time uh. Uh, right. no many problems at a time but you just have to go deal with it uh. mm. just Did never give face up any issues in terms of like because you say because your main market is towards family and mothers right was it any was it hard to get people's trust because like because they're more careful because of all the virus that's going on so everybody's like yes. oh should I order from the brand like, how did you reassure all these mothers that my pro- the products that we're sending to you will be sanitized, safe. Okay. Um, okay. Besides, on, because I believe that the trust is built like day by day. Because like we have been in the business all this while, like three years. So every time that whenever for each customer, we treat each customer of each of our customer, like we treat them like uh, very like preciously. So we mm. will... So from time to time, the trust is built up. And also during this pandemic period that we, uh, what we need the most during this period is because of our hand uh, sanitizer product Mm-mm. that uh, we deliver to them in care. Mm-mm. 
So mm -hmm. how to prevent it from having the issues will be, they need to sanitize the product before they open it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so because um, you started your business quite young, right? Okay. So would, would you encourage young people to start their own business? And why would you encourage yes. them? Yes, of course. Because like, when you are young, you have nothing to lose. Also, like mm. what I mentioned previously, like, um, because like when we were born, right, we already like naked. So what I mean by naked is to like, you already know what will happen next, what will happen in the end. So mm. in the end of the life that you will eventually die, everyone will die and you cannot escape that. So mm. you already know that you will die eventually. Why not like, uh, live your life to the fullest and also chase mm. your dream because like, you you don't have a second chance to live. Mm. So live your life with passion and also chase your dreams that eventually you will regret after you have thirties, forties. That only you do business. It will be a bit late, but you can have your own dreams now and then yeah, work on your dreams. Right. So must take the opportunity now while we're young, and then <laughs> hopefully the yeah, business have nothing will... to lose. And you are young; it's time to make mistake. Just everyone learn from mistake. Mm. It's okay to make mistake. I encourage mm. people to make mistake actually, so they learn. <laughs> right. Oh, that was very insightful. Thank you so much, Olivia, for that sharing session. So now we'll move on to the Q and A that was given to the by the audience. So one of our audience asked, um, when you face like. Um, financial issues or sudden stop of sales, how did you motivate yourself to go on? Was there ever a period where they were struggling? Yeah. Mm, because things happen, but what I will do if I am stuck in like financial issues that I will, okay, I will get the money, I will get the money from the market. So you have to start like thinking creatively, like what else that I can sell to the market? What else the customer need? Actually, there's many, like, there's many like, money resources in the market that you can get from. Mm. You don't need a product to sell, but you can do a very good, like, you have to understand your consumer very well. So you know what is their pain point, what products they need. So I can do a pre-order first. So I can get the money and then like, uh, deal with the factory and get the product and deliver the products to customer like, maybe one month later. There's... For me, there is no issues of lack of money, but you just have to be creative and find a way to get the money to continue mm -hmm. your business. Mm. So being like um, being here like so many years in the business, how do you stay motivated? Not like because you mentioned passion is one thing, but how do you stay motivated in like continuing your journey as an entrepreneur? Because you said that it's not, it's not a nine to five job, so you have to be all committed and you must be like quite committed in terms of time. So how do you motivate yourself? How do I motivate myself? As in, because... Like how I do you wake have... up each day in the morning <laughs> and be like, I have to go to work? Yeah, of course, I do have like many breakdowns, but I still think that this is something that I want to do and I'm, I'm more afraid of, I'm, I'm more afraid of like not having, not having... Uh, the courage to try mm, mm, mm. because I'm more afraid of like giving up on my own dreams instead of I'm just like afraid of doing more because every time when I thought of like giving up I'll think that if I give up now what it means for me like what's the thing that holding me on all this world because what mm. I want is like I want to be like successful I want to have an impact to the society yeah, so this is the thing that I want. If I lose this, then I find it no meaning to like, yeah, to live a life. Mm, to live a life with purpose. Wow, with purpose, okay. with passion, and also the yeah. life that you want. Because I still feel yeah. that because life is really like difficult. Because we wouldn't know that which day that we will we will be, uh, we will die. We will longer no longer have the opportunity to like redo the things that we want. Mm. When you have the chance, why not grab it? Right. right. Okay, thank you so much, Olivia, for your insight. That was really, really mind-opening about, you know, being young and being 
you know, motivated to start your own business. So everybody, that was Olivia from Joyly, sharing about her experience through Talkie Talks, brought to you by RISE and supported by City Foundation. So what really motivated Olivia was her, the, the need in the market and her hope to help and innovate and help other people around her and give back to the community. So that really helped her to persevere. And I hope all of you feel inspired by her sharing and feel inspired by her journey in entrepreneurship and starting her business jointly. So if your goal is to start a small business or to learn more about entrepreneurship, you can go and follow us on our Rice Facebook page. Or if you're interested in really understanding the world of business and the world of starting your own business, you can join our new program, which is called Rise Online 2020. So this is an online course, which you can take it at your own time. And you, it's for free, so you can just join it. And there is a range of courses that you can take that really teach you about how you start your business, how do you plan your business, how do you create a business idea, and so on and so forth. So if you're interested in joining the course, or if you're interested in gaining more skills in terms of entrepreneurship, please feel free to register for the course and join us for the rest of the year. So don't forget to also sign up for our next Talkie Talks with Isdi Ali. So Isdi Ali is, is the founder of the brand called Skin It's, which is a, a makeup and skincare brand. So if you're interested, please do register for her Talkie Talks. And thank you so much, Olivia, for joining thank us you. today and sharing. Thank you so much. And we wish you all the best for your business. And we hope that one day, if any of us become parents, we can buy from your brand and support your brand as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, CD. Bye. So thank you guys for coming. Bye-bye. Guys, bye.